Hey there, everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play The Lion King with me, Rizu Komasu. We are in Hakuna Matata, the level with the two catchy music. Sorry, I'll stop singing now. This spider right here is a little bit of a jerk. Sometimes you can get by it, sometimes you can't. As you can see, I can't. But at least we got a health bug to make up for it, right? Now, you're probably going to notice that the roar bar on the top, uh, what is it, left, is a bit larger than last time. That's because I lost my old save state and had to play through again. And I ended up getting one of the roar bugs during the, what is it, bug toss game. Ouch. Friggin' spider. Anyway. <laughs> oh, did you see that? That was badass. That was a badass move. And that was stupid. Anyway, we have your ultimately annoying adversaries, the spiders. And you also have frogs, which, aside from riveting, will sometimes spit darts at you. Wow, dart spitting frogs. And don't you just love this background? The view of the mountains, especially of Mount Kilimanjaro, is tallest in the background. And up here is a free life! Woohoo! Alright! We are getting lives back. This is good, people. This is very good. And I am impersonating Vega without meaning to. Oh god, I am so sorry! Actually, I just needed something to take up time. Because the truth is, we really did need that bug. But unfortunately, it means we have to jump across these again. Not too hard, not too challenging. Because there is no real time limit in these levels, you can get away with doing this sort of stuff. So backtrack if you need to. Da -da 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 -da. Dark spitting frogs, see? I told you. Now there is another bug that will increase your health down here. Somewhere. Now let's see if I can go the right way. No, 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 no! Crud! Crud! No! Okay, we're at the log jumping. As you can see, it goes straight down into the water, which means if you miss, you die. Yeah, no pressure. And it doesn't help that Disney made this ex exceedingly hard to do. But thankfully, I have figured out a strategy. You notice that this column I am jumping on and then just jumping straight up in? Every other log, you can jump straight up in that column. And, like, the log after that will be too far, but as you can tell, if you jump onto another column, which is going just a bit slower, you will make steady progress up the waterfall. And yes, I do see that there is a life over there, or I saw it a little bit earlier. I have no idea where it disappeared to. Anyway, there is a life over on the right-hand side. Yeah, there it is. But I am not going to bother with it, because this is hard enough. Yeah, this is extremely difficult. Like, this is where a lot of people would give up just because it is so hard. Curse you, Disney, for putting so much jumping into this game! It's ridiculous, but we've made it to the top! Where Timon, Pumbaa, and Simba grow old together. Enough of that. Alright, we are going down here. Right into another spider, and it's not even worth it this time, so don't bother. Now here, you really do want to use the little down scroll feature, as it will be very useful in telling you where you're supposed to jump to. Like, otherwise you will jump straight into the water, right? You don't want that, Simba can't swim. What is this? What is this? There was no monkey in the Lion King! What's with the giant ape? Actually, this is the boss of this level, and you've got to wait until he does that before you jump on him. You have to do this a couple of times, and it is pretty difficult. But luckily for me, I figured out pretty early on that you can actually jump on these coconuts and destroy them. Unfortunately, sometimes he goes onto a singular platform twice, as I've seen here. Which means you have got to work extra hard at dodging the coconuts. Depending on which platform he's on, the number of coconuts will increase each time. So the next platform he'll throw three, and there is one more after that where he'll throw four. As you can see, it is extremely difficult to dodge at points. Or maybe I'm just a girl gamer. We'll see. But you have got to be careful because if he does that while you are still on the platform, you will get hurt. You don't even have to be right there. You will get hurt by effects of an earthquake or something. I don't know. Ouch! Ouch! Right on my head! Bad monkey! Bad! Alright, we're gonna go fight the boss again. I'm not bothering cutting that out because that was just... Oh. <laughs> and that was female gaming. That is what you get for not looking down. Look before you leap! Seriously! Look before you leap! Oh, that was great. Alright, we're gonna be fighting the monkey again. Ouch. And we're gonna get hit by coconuts again. Because this monkey is a meanie. He will not break them open and share juice with us. He will just throw them at us. 
What did we ever do to him? Did we review a video of his or something? Yes, the monkey is a bad Let's Player. That's why he throws coconuts at us. Because we critiqued him. Alright, enough of the bad jokes! That was close. This music is too catchy. I really mean it. They made it even more incredibly catchy. I'm just going to take a moment now, though, to talk about these graphics. Isn't it incredible? Like, the forest scene that they use in the background and, like, just the platforms that they use, it is all accurate to Africa. With the exception of the presence of Black Widow spiders, which still bugs me. Because it's like, they're North American. And they are only North American. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Because we have this lovely view of the back of the mountains in the background and water reservoirs in the mountains. It is no wonder that Timon and Pumbaa have picked such a lush oasis to live in, right? Right. All right, last round with the monkey. Die, die. What? No. Ah. I forgot. This is one of the one where he does too. But luckily for you, he will actually throw the coconuts away for you from you. So look for out for when he throws four, as that will be your opportune moment to climb up, as I am failing at doing. One more hit, and he's history! And we did that with one point of health left, I just noticed. Ouch. Bye-bye! In regular old Looney Tunes style, freeze in the air, fall. Come on. That was coming. So now we are adult Simba, and our roar bar is tiny again. But you keep the health upgrades, which is very nice. So you, now you can slash, and you can roar like a man. Come on. Isn't that great? Oh, and as you can see, you can actually beat the crap out of enemies instead of just jumping on them. So bitch slap the, le the leopard to death and move on. Oh, and the bugs make a new noise now. Listen. See? They beep. Or ding. Whatever. I don't care. But anyway, you don't hear Simba saying cool anymore. That would actually just take away his overall awesomeness if he still said cool. So we are the adult now. We are climbing and exploring the level. One hit will kill the monkeys. That is nice. Well, what is not nice is that they will throw feces at you, just like real monkeys do. See? There it was. Actually, I'm not sure what they're throwing at you, but I seriously doubt that Disney would make them throw feces. They're probably, um, brown peanuts. Yes, that's what they are. Brown peanuts. Alright, again, you will want to look before you leap. And occasionally take leaps of faith. As you can see, you can use the slash attack to clear foliage. I've done this a little bit earlier. And this is one of those areas where you will run into endless leopards. Just keep bitch slapping. Just bitch slap them to hell. You are supposed to be doing this, do not get me wrong. I think about after five of them, five or six, then they stop coming. And you move and Rafiki clears the path for you. But I want to go up and throw and kill this monkey that's been throwing brown peanuts at me. Die! Ha ha ha! Alrighty, so, you know what, I'm going to cut it off here today. Thank you once again for joining me, and thank you for your patience, because it has been a long time. Admittedly, I've had a cold. But yeah, it's been a great Let's Play, so thank you so much, we are coming close to the end. What? That glitched. Give us a roar. Later! <laughs>